on the way to our farm. This is my home. Uh, this cassava farm. Here we produce garlic. Finally, When doing such thing, you have to be careful because this plant, if you check a look at this plant, I don't know what plant it is, but it is very sharp, sharper than a razor blade. It could tear your skin, like to cut your skin. So be careful with such plant. <laughs> Hello, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and same good night wherever you're watching from. My name is EJ, Nigeria to the world where I bring everything that has happened life here in my village and look at this beautiful sunset Woo! <laughs> i'm telling you for a fact i don't normally see sunset like it's impossible to see that when you're in lagos because you don't have that time to see sunset so now we're in the village we'll be doing some minor things some activities going farming and today i'll be showing you what we do and how we start our day here in the village stay tuned <laughs> It's a wonderful morning as you can see the children are running around playing and what we're gonna do first thing in the morning where we wake up in the village is clean the whole compound as you can see me <laughs> with my rapper and, <laughs> and me cleaning the compound whether it is clean or not that's the first thing we're gonna do in the morning when we wake up so let's get into this by cleaning the compound so it will look all clean. rained last night so the rain from last night is what brought our plantain down so in order for it to look okay I have to chop it off and make that uh, walkway looks okay because this is where we walk to the bathroom to take our bed so I have to keep it tidy Also, you can see me spreading my clothes. These are the clothes I washed from the other day but could not dry because of the, the rain. The rain fell and the clothes were not dried. So I have to spread them this early morning now that the sun is up.
Oh fam, this is my home. It's really amazing out here, you know. But you need a lot of fund to be able to survive in the village if you're planning on moving. Because you're not going to get anything free. The only thing you're going to get free is when you farm. Well, not too far, just this way. In order to farm, you need hose, you need shovel, you need a lot of things. You buy, um, you buy fertilizer and so many things. So, I'm going to farm today. <laughs> City boy turns to village boy who is going to farm. Oh, we're here at the farm. Look at it, it is the farm. This is the whole farm area, like from all the way, all this you're saying is done by my dad. So let's wait for him here and we'll start for the day. Let's wait for him as we, before he comes and we'll start for, for the day and see how today goes. We, we're coming to do like weeding that is clear of the grass that is growing near the plants those unnecessary grass we're going to clear it off so that's what we should be doing today after that we'll go home take our bed because we don't have to bait before coming to the farm take our bed find something to eat and we'll call it a day all right see you guys shortly It is so amazing how this tree you see this man climbing down from can produce such such wonderful and beautiful wine. <laughs> the first thing I did when I came to the village is rush and get my own five liter of palm wine and I love it. Uh, the first thing I have to do when I got to the village was uh, rush and get my own five liter of palm wine because the palm wine in the village is like the very very best palm wine you would ever taste like it is naturally made like it is naturally made without being mixed with any sugar or any substance it is just naturally made Till later in the evening. Okay. To get the palm wine. Ah, uh, you get that. Okay. Different time. Okay. Uh. Where does that? Well, you know we'll go today. No, no, no. I, no okay. Yes, that different time they come out for. Okay. okay. All right. Bye bye. All right. Thank you. Okay, guys. My dad is here, and he already is at work. So let me show you what he's doing. He's doing like the weeding. This is what they call weeding. Weeding, weeding. Okay. So how is it done, Daddy? International oh. farmer. Oh, this is the continuation of the video that we had last time. And today we are going to continue again. Uh, this cassava farm. Here we produce garlic. Finally, when we do weeding, we save the life of the cassava to grow well and to produce the seed that is supposed to produce through weeding. Without weeding, when the grass grow and cover the cassava, we cannot produce enough for us. That is why we are doing weeding, so that the cassava will have chance to produce the young ones that will make us to use it for carry here in our village everybody are doing it being that i am international farmer i have to do it that is why you people are listening to me anywhere you are in south africa in nigeria the whole world that this international farmer is a confirmation of what i'm doing now is the confirmed one not local one 
This is international farmer man. As you see, as I'm walking this morning, by the grace of God, and I trust God that at the end, I will rejoice because the cassava will produce the seed that I need to use it to make gari for my children and my entire family. So as a farmer, we cannot do without a cassava farm and we cannot do the cassava, we cannot succeed in our farming work without doing weeding. Whosoever is international or local farmer must do, do weeding to save the life of the cassava that is sober to make it. And I know that as I'm doing it now, I will make it at last. That is, I will succeed and the cassava will produce the seed that we need for Gary. That is why you see me early morning, like this time. This is about 10 minutes after nine. I've already in the farm to continue the weeding so that by 12 o'clock, or oh, uh, 1.30 in the afternoon or less than that as my power will carry then I will go back home then tomorrow or next I will continue because this is where I feed my family and also feed my life so that I will not beg for fruit all right guys that's it for the moment uh let me drop the camera over here so that we can get to farm and hope we call it a day before two in the evening and stay tuned this is my first time farming <laughs> so don't laugh at me if i'm doing it wrong but i'll try my best to do it right What you see us doing here is we're farming a plot, not even a plot of land, like five plots of land, five plots of land and we are going to do every single step of it with our hand and our hoe, which is not easy, like not being easy. My dad has been doing this for like uh, two weeks, if I'm not mistaken, two weeks, yes, he has been doing this for two weeks. He, does it like every day for two weeks and we're, we're, we're progressing on this one we are really progressing on this one so stay tuned when doing such thing you have to be careful because this plant if you check and look at this plant I don't know what plant it is but it is very sharp sharper than a razor blade it could tear your skin like to cut your skin so be careful with such plants <laughs>
about uh, weeding, you have to take uh, the plant off that is from the root. You have to take them from the root because you don't want them growing fast. So you have to start from the root by taking them out. So let's continue farming. This is what we'll continue tomorrow. Continue here tomorrow. And guys, thank you for watching. And also hit the like and subscribe button if you're joining in for the first time. My name remain EJ of Nigeria to the world. I'm done for fam today. Look at my hands, it's dirty all over me. Like look at all over me, it's kind of dirty, but we are good. We will continue doing our best to grow. So we're heading back home and I'm super tired, but it's, it's the way to go. It's the way to go. I'm just tired a little. <laughs> Although this is like my first time um, doing a farm, a real farm work, not the one we learned in school, agriculture we learned in school now. But this is like the real deal. So thank you for watching and remember to, to, to remember to hit the like button and subscribe also share and see you next time on our next episode in the village. <laughs>